dear students welcome you all in video number 10 and uh, the given problem depends upon the solar constant first i will explain about the solar constant so solar <coughs> solar constant is the radiation uh, reaching per unit area per unit second of the earth that is the solar constant and second concept which we will use in this uh, to solve this problem that is stephen's law uh, radiation Q is equal to sigma t to the power 4. Sigma is Stephen constant and t is the temperature of the surface of the sun. So now we will solve this problem. Uh, the problem is solar constant of earth is 2 calorie, 2 calorie per centimeter square per volume per minute. Per minute. So, uh, uh, 1 calorie is equal to 4.2 joule. Angular diameter of the sun as seen from the earth is half degree. Treating sun as a black body. Its surface temperature is estimated to be nearly. And option R 6000 Kelvin, 5800 Kelvin, 6200 Kelvin and 5500 Kelvin. So first uh, suppose this is sun. Radius of the sun suppose capital R and this is earth this is earth and this is sun and this distance is small r this distance is small r and we know that <coughs> suppose sorry suppose this angle is theta and this distance, this distance is 2R <coughs> diameter of the sun, 2R, an angle substant on the center of earth that is theta. So we can write theta is 2R upon small r or we can write capital R upon small r equal to theta upon 2 we can consider it equation number one. Now we can apply Stephen's law total radiation power total radiation power from sun from sun and it should be Q is equal to sigma t to the power 4 and sigma it should be uh, sigma is per unit area so sigma into multiply by surface area of sun 4 pi r square t to the power 4 and t represents the t represents the temperature of surface of sun surface of the sun so uh, we know that uh, the radiation yani solar constant reaching per unit area per second of the earth that is q upon 4 pi r square if we consider that this is this is r and this is the if we consider a, a total surface area q upon 4 pi r square or we can write q sigma into 4 pi capital r square into t to the power 4 this is the value of q upon 4 pi r small r small r is the distance of uh, sun from the earth and 4 pi cancel out we can write sigma capital r square upon small r square t to the power 4 and we have already calculated r by 2 equal to theta by 2 so uh, we can write this is sigma theta by 2 whole square this is capital r square upon r 
capital R upon small r is theta by 2 t to the power 4 t to the power 4 and if we calculate the value of solar constant this is 2 in calorie so we have to convert it into joule upon divided by per minute so it is per second and centimeter square so we can multiply minus 2 square this becomes watt per meter square and value of sigma is Stephen constant is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 in SI unit. So put the value all value in the given Q is equal to Q sig, uh, sorry sigma this is sigma 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 this is the value of sigma theta upon 2 value of theta upon 2 1 upon 2 means 1 upon 4 and theta is half degree half degree we have to convert in radian pi by 180 square this is theta by 2 into t to the power 4 equal to this value q q is equal to sigma t to the power 4 2 into 4.2 upon 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 ka square 10 to the power minus 2 ka square 10 to the power minus 4 and after solving it it becomes uh, t to the power 4 t to the power 4 equal to 2 into 4.2 upon 60 into 10 to the power minus 4 and it becomes 2 square 4 it is pi square uh, sorry 180 square 180 into 180 180 up into 4 into 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by pi square Two into four point two upon sixty into ten to the power minus four into four into four into one eighty into one eighty one eighty into one eighty and divided by this pi square pi square into value of sigma. 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 and dear students in examination calculator is allowed so we can solve it by the help of calculator and this value up after taking one fourth root it becomes 6002 Kelvin and nearly we can write it 6000 Kelvin temperature of the surface of earth is nearly equal to 6000 Kelvin and now we will check the answer and in the given fourth option option A should be correct. So dear students uh, in video number 11 we will meet again with another interesting problem and uh, uh, I want to say one thing that if you want to understand uh, any topic you can write on the comment other than this lecture series thank you very much